We are about to enter the military room, which is one of the larger rooms of this history museum. Um, at the entrance, our most recent addition to the military collection, this stained glass window came from the George Church in Swanton, Maryland, and the window was done in honor of Union soldiers who fought in the Civil War. It lights, it is absolutely beautiful, and um, though in horrible condition, was restored by someone who worked at the Smithsonian. A gift of the Werther family. This is our military exhibit, and we do have some fabulous pieces Three of the most extraordinary are, first of all, the Union Army coat from the Potomac Home Brigade from the 1860s. The Home Brigade protected the railroad through Garrett County and other important sites in Garrett County. That is the only known Civil War uniform uh, in Garrett County that was actually used in Garrett County. There may be some we've never heard of. We have also in that case lots of artifacts from Fort Pendleton which was over at Gorman. We have a lot of um, daguerreotypes from the Civil War, a kepi hat. We have numerous pieces there, and on top of the case, things that honor Civil War soldiers from Garrett County. In the corner beside the case is a roster of Garrett County Civil War soldiers and the owner of the top coat is on the roster. Samuel Faulkner. But we also have in there swords and guns and uh, people have been very generous with us on Civil War artifacts. Now I said three special artifacts. This is General Benjamin Kelly's saddle from the Civil War. He was very famous in the Union Army and after the war he lived at Swan Meadow. His farm is still there, the farmhouse is still there, but this is the saddle he used in the Civil War. Missing in that corner because it's being restored, we have a newspaper from the day Abraham Lincoln was shot, but it is being taken care of and then we'll go back up soon. The third item in this room that is so extremely valuable, I'll get to later, but it is this original Gatling gun. In this case, we have many things relating to a Garrett County General by the name of George Crook. George Crook's wife was from Oakland. Her family owned the first hotel in Oakland. We have numerous things from their home, numerous pictures, books, whatever. General George Armstrong Custer also had a connection here, so we have a few things related to him. This cabinet recognizes veterans from the Spanish-American War, World War I, World War II, up above it the same. Um, the propeller is from a World War I plane. The helmets are World War II German. Down on the shelves, many commemorative pieces for the popular Spanish-American War. Um, over here, a cap from the Austrian army in World War I and a very rare um, uh, helmet from the German army of World War I. We have numerous pieces of clothing from World War I, some in excellent shape. This uniform was worn by a soldier from accident. We have the complete uniform.
Uh, most of what you see on the walls in this area involve World War I and maybe a couple of Spanish-American items, war items. The Gatling gun is special. It's probably one of the rarest artifacts in here. Uh, visitors have been telling us that they saw one of these on the pickers, the American pickers, and that it was in the area of several hundred thousand dollars. This one was one of two that were brought to Garrett County by a state senator who was part of a rod and gun club at Crellin, little town outside of Oakland. When the Rod and Gun Club disbanded, this one was given to us, and the other one, I think, went to the American Legion and made its way to um, some museum in Baltimore, but we're not going to part with this one. This one stays forever. Anyhow, it is complete. It's dated. I think it's 1901, and it um, there's a history of it that we have. Um, it, we have a few parts missing because children play with them, so we took them off. But it, we do have everything to it, and it is extremely rare. This is a Spanish-American War uniform worn by James Dillon of the Cove and out of an extra part of a uniform a child's coat was made for one of James Dillon's daughters. Um, there are also some very interesting Spanish-American War uh, photos here in this corner also. Most everything in this section of the <clears throat> museum relates to World War II. We have many, many more items in storage, but we've put out the major ones and things that we think people would find most interesting. The um, uniform from a U.S. Navy wave from the Civil War is quite interesting. She was also from the Cove area of Maryland. We have numerous pieces of various types of uniforms. Here is the uniform of a WAC in World War II. And we have a Navy officer's uniform and I don't know if any of you out there wear a shoe that size, but this is a World War II boot of a Garrett County soldier. I think it's size 22. Other uniforms that I was standing in front of, and the song coming in on a wing and a prayer is connected to Oakland through a pilot who is listed there and we have pictures and we have a piece of sheet music from coming in on a wing and a prayer. This cabinet in front of me is World War II Smalls. There's a little bit of everything in this case um, that belong to soldiers in World War II. This gun cabinet, which is very fancy, Victorian, I'm sure, maybe it's 120 years old, belonged to a gun collector in Garrett County and a very famous Garrett County and his name was Lester Yutze and about 10 or 20 years ago his grandson gave us his gun collection. It's a huge collection. Some of it is displayed in the um, cabinet 
but we have other pieces in storage. The um, most unusual item in the collection was a uh, shotgun given to General Crook in 1866, a year after the Civil War ended, for his service in the Civil War. It's engraved. It is quite, a, quite an interesting piece. In this cabinet, we have again a lot of um, World War II artifacts, many Purple Hearts. This is a World War II portable uh, radio that was given to us. And then back here, this uniform from William Franklin had to do with the USS Garrett County. He was an aviator who had uh, action that involved the USS Garrett County. The Garrett County was in the wars from World War II through um, Vietnam. It finally ended up uh, being dismantled, but we were given a lot of things that relate to it. Um, we have a wonderful life preserver. We have num numerous things here that involve the USS Garrett County. We have also artifacts from other wars since Vietnam. We've had things given from the Iraqi war. We've had things given from um, Kuwait, and they would all be in this area. Hanging from the ceiling are some guns from both World War I and World War II. The plane models were given to us by locals who built them and painted them. This cabinet is memorabilia mostly involving General George Crook and his wife, Mary Daly Crook. Mary's home was Oakland. And they built, at the end of the Civil War, an absolutely beautiful mansion on Crook Crest at the top of town. The mansion still exists. Unfortunately, General Crook died before he ever moved in. But Mrs. Crook lived there some, and then her sister lived there a lot longer. The gun that I mentioned to you as a commemorative item given to George Crook, that particular shotgun was sold at an estate sale at General Crook's home in 1900, and Lester Yutze of the gun cabinet bought it for the amazing sum of $10. If you want to see that particular shotgun, it's displayed in the Transportation Museum.